guys. Uh, this is just a really quick video about my recent favorites. There's been a lot of stuff that we've gotten accumulated over the past few months and I haven't been online to show. Uh, I'm going to have two parts to this video. This one is just stuff and the other one's going to be clothes. Like I've got this awesome dress here that I'd, I'd like to show and this coat that I have and some other dresses and shirts and things like that and belts or whatnot. Um, but I will show those in a separate video when it's not bad weather and I could stand and find a place to set up my camera to do a full body video. I've got these awesome slippers that I'm dying to use, but I'm saving them for when it's really, really cold. I had wanted these so badly and I finally just bought them for myself months ago. They're, of course, zombie slippers with a little eyeball dangling. And um, they're all right. They're not crazy comfortable, but they're super cute so I haven't worn them yet because I tend to go through slippers really fast I wear out the bottoms and I guess it turns out I scuff my feet when I walk I, I never really realized until I got uh, the flip-flops the sandals that aren't thongs they kind of fit over your whole foot like this and when I started wearing shoes like that I'd walk and then my shoe would just fly off my foot and I'm like oh shit I just don't pick up my feet and so my slippers wear out really quickly but as soon as it is freezing cold I'm gonna start wearing these because these are just too freaking cute <laughs> they're all right but they're not they're not as plush as say the ones I got from Walmart but they they're adorable and they look like they'd be really warm secondly you guys have probably seen this online this is from Killstar this is the, one of their uh, creatures and uh, this looks reversed to me I don't know if it's reversed um, when I play it back, but this is adorable. He's bigger than I thought he was going to be. I think this was about $50 when I got this a few months ago. Um, I'd seen him online and I was like, oh my God, I must have him. He's so cute. And I know a couple of other goth YouTubers have these. Um, I didn't get it because of anybody. I got it just because he's soft and he's cute. And I'm actually really, really impressed with the quality and how soft he is and how big he is because he's bigger than I thought that he would be. They also have a kitty cat, but I just, I really liked him. I've got a Baphomet tattooed on me and um, I had some necklaces and I just, I, I love him so much. In keeping with the stuffed animal thing, this was an early birthday present from Josh and this was adorable. I, I had seen the package because he, he's not very good at wrapping and he doesn't disguise the items and so I felt it and I was like that's an item of clothing because it, it feels like clothing it's really soft but I opened it and I was like oh my god it's so cute this is like a super realistic um, octopus and it's Wild Republic is the brand and it is unbelievably plush and soft and I absolutely adore this this is one of my favorite stuffed animals not only because he bought it for me but just because it is so freaking cute. Um, uh, another early birthday present he gave me, or sorry, early Christmas present. That was an early Christmas present. This is an early Christmas present. We're so bad. We get so excited about what we buy each other that we're like, well, we could just open one present and then replace it and then get more and replace it. And right now, uh, he's got 25 presents up there. And I think I've got like, I don't know how many, I, he owes me 14, 13 because we've opened that many and I've been able to replace his, but he hadn't gotten around to replacing mine yet. So we, we originally would have had like 50 something presents under the tree. And, um, now he's, he's, <laughs> he's finding himself having a rush, um, to get me, um, mine to make the amounts even, but we just get, I get so excited because I'm like, Oh, I got him this, I got him this, I got him that. And I just really, really, I get impatient and I want to see what he thinks. And, uh, he got me some amazing stuff for my birthday. I got him some amazing stuff for his birthday. Uh, we haven't even talked about that yet. I got him a ton of shirts. I got him um, the uh, Surround Sound 4.0 Bluetooth X Rocker chair that was like 200 bucks. I got him. Um, I got him that. I got him uh, a gaming laptop. And I got him uh, Xbox One, no, Xbox One X. Is that the new one? I got him the new one and then like a 
Google Play gift card to go along with it and, and some other stuff. But he had an amazing freaking birthday. I spoiled that boy. He spoiled me too, but he made out like a bandit this year. He got me this for an early Christmas present. And uh, this was freaking cool. I felt the weight of it. And I was like, what could that be? Um, and I had completely forgotten that I'd wanted this. But it's got drawers here. When I get my stuff, my stuff still, it's in America, but it just hasn't been delivered yet. When I get it, I'm going to put my jewelry in here because I've got a lot of jewelry. And it opens up in there and you can put your rings and your necklaces. I, this is so cute. I, I love this so much. This is a place of honor on my dresser. Um, gosh, I've got some necklaces and stuff too, but I'll show that, I guess, with my clothing thing. Next up is... Yet another item from Fermu. Now, I had gotten sunglasses from them before, and I wasn't too impressed because they were really light and flimsy. They offered me another pair of glasses, and this time I, I really wanted just glasses because childishly and stupidly of me, when I thought I was about to get LASIK, I started treating these like, nah, I'm not going to need them, it doesn't really matter. So I wasn't as careful with them as I should have been. And now they're all scratched up and kind of not so great. So this came perfect time. Um, I chose a cat eye design just because, I don't know, I, I'm not too good with figuring out what design fits my face. I found these and I love them. But before I got these, I used to like cat eye stuff. Now, I didn't add any extras to these. I could have added um, to thin the the lenses out because I'm blind so the lenses are quite thick I don't have the anti-glare anti-shine none of that so you can see how high that prescription is um, they're like magnifying glasses um, I'll put them on so you can see what they look like um, it's, it's gonna take a while for my eyes to adjust to them so I can't really see clearly uh, at the moment I can see but you know, when you switch glasses from something old to something new and stronger, it takes a little bit to adjust to. So I'm not quite sure how they look on me. Josh seems to like them, but um, I do like them better than I liked the uh, the sunglasses. I think that if I put the money into it, ugh, ooh, these are definitely a bit weaker. Um, these, everything is like right up in my face. But I... I am happy with these. I think if I put the money into them and I actually paid for all the upgrades and stuff, um, these will be amazing. So Fermo is actually a really, a really good option if you need glasses and they always send you the glasses kit and a dusting cloth and this little bag and in the bag always comes this little, um, repair kit as well. You get your nose pieces, you get your little keychain with your screws and your screwdriver. So it's really cool of them to to add in that but these don't feel as cheap as the the other ones did and um, these cost around $25 so they're very 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 well priced and if you're on a budget and you really need glasses these here were a thousand dollars in New Zealand they're Prada Prada frames and um, my, you know, they've got the smaller lenses and the anti, they've got all, all the bells and whistles. And that's because, um, I had insurance over there at the time and that eye insurance, I had to spend a certain amount in order to fit into a certain category. They had like gold, silver and bronze category or whatnot. So since my prescription is so high, they suggested that I I spend a bit more to fit into the gold category, which would have made my payments like $20 a month or something like that. So it was really, really cheap in, in payment form. But if I paid for them out front, they would have been outrageously expensive. But I do keep these because I really like the shape of these. It's just the lenses that I always have to replace. But hopefully soon, as soon as I get to a doctor and I, you know, get my insurance, I can go and I'll have LASIK and I will document all that. So that is still in my plans. But for now, especially if I lose these, these are a good choice. And I, I'm really grateful to them for coming to me right at the right time. Almost done here. Um, let's see. I got some more Pop Funkos because I'm always collecting them. I got the Pill Man from Labyrinth. I also have the Fawn, but I forgot to bring them out. I'm not sure where I stuck him. I, I just, 
I have everything kind of on top of the entertainment center right now and I thought that I forgot that I had him actually so I do have him as well the pale man's pretty cool looking he looks a little plain but he's pretty cool looking and this I didn't even know they came out with this but I got the new Oogie Boogie and he is disgusting looking he's got all his crap all over him and when I saw him online I was like oh hell yeah I've got to buy him and so I bought him right away I'm not really too interested in anything else on the back of this um, snowman jack I would probably get in Harlequin Demon oh maybe the clown maybe at eh, I'd probably get most of these actually uh, not the Sally I've got a lot of Sally's and not the doctor I don't really care about him dr. Finkelstein 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 whatever the other ones I do like though but this was the one I would have had my eye on anyway so I'm quite happy to have him I can't wait to get the rest of my collection back and see what they all look like together because I think that'll be pretty cool because I do have a lot of Pop Funkos. Two more things to show you guys. One is this new brand that I had found. I'd actually found this months ago and I've tried to make a video just for this but each time I'm not happy with it so I'm just going to throw it in here. It's a brand called Myth Cosmetics. You guys might have heard of them by now. When I bought from them they were virtually unheard of and now they're like sponsored by all these celebrities and stuff but this is what the box looks like this is uh the best color they have this is called poison quartz and this is the color i'm wearing right now so i actually bought two extras of these along with what i already have open so they have only a few colors right now the box is really nice oh i'm pretty impressed with it this is what it looks like inside and um ooh. so it's it's pretty cute. This reminds me of Black Moon Cosmetics, the way that it's kind of it kind of fades into the color. So the two colors that I love are Poison Quartz, and then this one is Siren Song. And this is like a metallic kind of purple color. This is a beautiful color. This is my ultimate favorite all-time red. Before this, it was Red Rum from Jeffree Star. That was my favorite red. But this is actually a better red than Red Rum. Red Rum is lighter and pinker when you compare it to this. I had, uh, one day before I left, I did half red rum, red rum and half of this. And you could instantly, from a distance, tell the, the difference. And Josh was like, wow, that one on that side is really light. And I was like, man, that's, that's Red Rum. So... Um, I'm going to see if I can actually grab it and do a, a swatch in my hand really quick. Okay, so this is Red Rum, and this is Poison Quartz. So you can see right there, it's different. Um, so I'm going to do a little, a little bit of Red Rum on my hand first. I still do love the color, but this is, this is Red Rum. Another cool thing about this is the wand is different. It's it's like a, it's like a pipe cleaner that's kind of twisted and separated. Um, it works really well though, but um, I, I haven't ever seen a wand like that before. And this is poison quartz. So you can see red rum is at the top, poison quartz is at the bottom. And there is a big difference in the color. Big. I'll show you guys this color. This is beautiful color. This is a uh, purple with glitter in it. Um, I'm just going to put some on the side of my hand here so it's easier to see. So that's what that looks like. It's not going to focus that clearly. I'm sorry. But that's it. I just fucking got lipstick all over my hand. You can see the shimmer in it when you spread it out. <laughs> I guess like that. And the bad thing about this lipstick, the thing that I do hate is it's not kiss proof. It's supposed to be long lasting. I guess it's, it is marketed as kiss proof, but it is most definitely not, not even after you it doesn't really say on here. Um, avoid oily foods, but I don't have, I don't eat oily foods really. Um, even after it dries, you could still wipe. Like I could probably go like this, and it comes off. 
Now the purple, the purple does last better than the red. The purple doesn't come off as, as well. I can kiss Josh and not leave red on or purple on him. But if I have this color on and I kiss him, he'll have red all over him. So it really sucks. I wish that the formula was better, more long lasting. I would love it a whole lot more. But as far as color goes, this is like my ultimate favorite, 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 favorite color. It is so beautiful. And if you guys can get your hands on it, I would totally recommend it. My last item are these shoes. These are amazing. Well, they would be amazing. They're actually more of a letdown. These are the Why Are You... Oh, fucking dog hair everywhere. These are the Why Are You glitter light up shoes. They are wonderfully glittery but the problem with these shoes is see they light up um they're supposed to last for like 50,000 steps or something this is the right one it lights up just fine it's nice and bright lights up really well but the left one is very temperamental and usually it does not light up and as you can see well it is lighting up but the lights are much much dimmer and they're not going through all the colors usually they don't even do this I can stomp and stomp and pound and they don't light up the same at all. Now these shoes are crazy expensive. They're like $150 or something like that. And they are so hard to find super, super, super hard to find. And you would think that for shoes that are that expensive, they would be made better and they would actually work. But a lot of people have issues with these shoes not working like they should. If you look up reviews for them, most people will say that one of the shoes doesn't work and it's usually the left one, which is the case here. So I'm just going to wait for either the lights to stop working completely or something because it would look awful stupid to walk around and you've got one shoe that lights up and one that doesn't. But check out that glitter. It does not flake off or come off. It is really rough and chunky though, um, but it doesn't come off and I think these are these were like the pride of my collection if they only worked like they're supposed to. So it's just half the lights don't work. But these, these would have been the coolest shoes ever. I just wish that they worked. Um, such a shame really. They're beautiful though. <laughs> and you can see how bright they should be. So you can imagine in a club or in the dark how awesome it would be to walk around with these just flashing and reflecting off the glitter and stuff like they're not very comfortable though they've got these horns back here that dig into your ankles and i have to lace them up differently because they like to come unlaced here but i'm still glad i got them and at some point i'll be able to use them better um just right now they're not doing so great but i guess that's it for this video of my favorites small favorites and like I said, when the weather's better and when I get a chance, I'll put on the clothes and I'll go outside and I'll do like a favorites outfit video for you guys. Until then, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this.